Mr. Mondo here, and looking good. I have a new look and also a new voice. Not to mention a new supercomputer. By the way, what is your name robot? Meow 9000 is my name. Meow 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 meow, roar. Now do you mention it, Mr. Fernando did say he found the damaged robot in my burnt down home. Oh it's you, old buddy. You saved me from Santa. Do you remember that one? Yup. That intruder had it coming. Glad to have you back, my friend. DFG DSFG or Jeff GSOIWE and my OFMVMK. I'm just joking. Sorry. You had me worried. Hum, huh. That must be my guest for my show. Please excuse me, Meow9000. Hello, Nick Earl, and welcome to the Mr. Mondo Show. Thank you, Mr. Mondo. I got to say that you have quite the place here. All these doodads everywhere. Thanks! This is all Mr. Fernando's doing. So, Nick Earl, I hear you are quite the silly man. Tell us about yourself. I am a cybernetic Larry King clone. My name is Larry King spelled backwards. I have heard, like me, you have had to place your own burnt down. Yes, yes I have. My precious studio burnt down. Then I bought a new studio, but also that burnt down. I was even very poor after I purchased that second one. I don't have funds to buy a third. What if I told you that I got you? Your very own new studio. Oh, my. Oh, it's the big one. Ha 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 ha. I'm just messing with you. Oh, a Sanford and Son reference out of nowhere. You silly bloke. Supercomputer, teleports us to his new studio. Whoa. This place is bloody awesome. And it looks like you're my guest now. Looks like I am. You will tell me how you got this place. I have been fighting crime for a number of years, so I bought it outright. So enjoy your new studio. Did you have to pay? One million dollars? Almost. Buying real estate is effing expensive. By the way, I heard you worked for the Space Patrol and helped with the Megapnet crisis. Yes, I scanned areas for baddies when I worked at the Space Patrol. I also researched vital information to make an armored suit for Dr. Cold Spell. Oh, you know Dr. Cold Spell too? Yes. He is such a brilliant and brave man, he took on his giant city-like golem friend named Sitius. The poor giant was possessed at one point, and an armored Dr. Cold Spell saved him. He did all that? I only known him as a medical doctor since I saw him when I was injured and such. Well, he had to work somewhere when the crisis was all said and done. He continued helping people as a medical doctor after the whole big monster fights were over. He never mentioned he was the doctor who helped Sidious. That's amazing. But I have something amazing for you. Not only did you get a studio, but there is a game show room right over there. I'll just have to get my quiz cards ready then and meet you in there. Welcome to my game show, I guess. I hope animal questions are okay since that's all I have ready. Yeah, and I hope I don't make a fool out of myself. First question, an electric eel is not an eel. Instead it's a what? Eck, I have no idea. Um, uh, a pool noodle. Ha ha ha. No, it's a knife fish. Dang it. Second question, what are bitcoins? Uh, they are. The change that somehow gets in your underwear? Ha ha. Nice guess. But it's a digital currency. That's two wrong answers. The third one will mean game over. Third question, what do they call their glorified cell phones in the cops animated series? Ah, um, uh, um. A cop you later? If, I don't know. An interesting answer, but the correct one is communicator. Nothing elaborate like you said, and I'm sorry, this means it's game over. And we are all out of time, so see you next time on. My show. No, my show.